Kingsman and the Golden Circle is a movie directed by Matthew Vaughn. He returns for the project, and this movie stars Taron Egerton, Mark Strong, Halle Berry, Julianne Moore, Channing Tatum. Julianne Moore's character, who plays a character named Poppy, she destroys the Kingsman organization. The two remaining members of the Kingsman is Merlin and Eggsy, and they team up with Statesman. Pretty much they're like the Kingsman, but in the USA, with more beer and whiskey. And alcohol products this film was bigger and better but it was too much for the movie to handle that all the performances was definitely spot on and the guy who played Exy, Taron Egerton he did a phenomenal job I think he did he did a lot better than his last role in Kingsman this guy definitely brought the talent and also the other characters Merlin Mark Strong Holly Berry every Channing Tatum was definitely on point with the performances and my issue is not really much of performance wise it's my issues with the overabundance of the action sequences but but still it was cool to look at with the action sequences and with the first Kingsman, I mean, the first Kingsman, you know, they had that the church sequence, and that was cool. But they kind of took that church sequence and applied that church sequence to every single action scene in this movie. I mean, it was cool, but I didn't want to see all that. I mean, and then they kind of overdid it because there's some of the fight scenes that consist a lot more of CGI. And this movie was condensed with subplots. Most of the execution revolved around the subplots just to lead up to the main act. And it kind of dragged the movie a little bit to me. And it made me like feel a little bored with this film. I mean, I still had a good time. Don't get me wrong. This is just how the film was kind of just was just dragging along. Because the film wanted to focus 20 minutes on the subplot to lead up to the main, to the main plot. As a parallel connection with the main plot. And I gotta say that Julianne Moore's character. She plays a character named Poppy. She's, this main, she's the main villain in this movie. She lives in a distant land you know i think somewhere in in the jungle and she created her own world where there's robots around and the move and she's there she's just at that one location throughout the whole entire movie she doesn't even go to the bathroom uh, she's only at one location that's a diner i just can't really get into that i mean in julian moore's performance i mean she was fun but yeah, I, I didn't feel much sinisterness from her character. I mean, she was just a happy-go-lucky, like, I just really couldn't get into the villain's role. Chang Tatum was in this movie as well. I was, I, I was a little excited to see him. But I'm just saying, if you are expecting Chang Tatum to have a big role with this movie, you're going to be a little disappointed. He has like a small role in this movie. I do like the action sequences. I do like the performance. Colin Firth has an appearance in this movie. And it's not a spoiler because you saw him in the trailer. I kind of wish they kind of not showed Colin Firth in the trailer. I think that would have had more of an impact with the film if they never showed Colin Firth's character in the trailer. It would definitely make me feel a little better with this movie. But other than that, performances was definitely on point. I did like the dialogue with his character. The action sequences was fun. I ain't gonna lie, the action sequences was fun, but, and I do love the gadgets, I do love this world that they build on and introduce the statesmen, I mean the statesmen, I'm really interested in the statesmen, I'm interested in every single character that was introduced in the statesmen, statesmen's organization, like Halle Berry's character, Ginger, and Chang Tatum's character, I want to see more of them down the road, hopefully, and I also love the gadgets, you know, there was gadgets that statesmen had that's, that's quite opposite from the gadgets that Kingsman had. You can kind of see the two organizations' differences and how they kind of butt heads a little bit. The Kingsman and the Statesman, how they don't really care for one another a little bit. They did a good job on the world building. I give them that. But still, my main issue is the, the overabundance of the subplot and the, and the too much of the over-the-top up in your face action sequences and it consists a lot of CGI and they did an overabundance of that I wish they kind of toned down on the action you know make it basic action on some of the sequences and then you can switch to the over the top action but not don't do it every single scene because it just gets a little boring and it gets repetitive this movie was fun to watch I did enjoy the movie 
It was definitely a good time, but not as good as the first Kingman, so I gotta give this film my Christian Bell Batman. This is definitely a good film you should watch. Take your friends, take your girlfriend, take it's a good date movie. And I think you will have a good time with this film despite its flaws. So guys, thank you for watching. That's my review for Kingsman. So if you like everything you see and you agree, click right here. Join me and the Batman family. I have more Batman-tastic views in the way. Proper etiquette. Good night and good luck.